So the question says, in Hogwarts Legacy, a goblin horn, I think it's legend, in Hogwarts legend, I'm guessing that's what that's what he meant. But anyway, a goblin horn has a piece of cheese stuffed in it. Many descendants of Abraham claim the goblin horn is way too close to the shofar, which is that nice little big, you know, uh, ram's horn, I think. They also claim the plot of goblins stealing wizard children mirrors too closely to real-life anti-Semitic propaganda of being accused of stealing children. On a scale of 1 to 10, how legitimate do you find their complaints? So the reason why uh, Gajan is saying uh, the descendants of Abraham is because he he's helping us not get flagged on YouTube. Right. Uh, because we're talking about uh jew people okay and i think like this we're, i mean i think it's fine to say it i think don't, don't I, okay i don't think youtube is that sensitive because i've yeah, seen shouldn't be yeah yeah this is like anti and it's an anti-semitic um accusation they're accusing hogwarts legacy and the whole hogwarts uh, the harry potter universe of uh, being anti-semitic because goblins are stereotypically look like uh, what anti-Semitic people depict Jewish people to look like, right? Um, and it's not just the way they look, it's also the fact that they're bankers mm-hmm. uh, in the in Harry Potter and they're greedy mm-hmm. and they, they are not, they seem to be not to be trusted. Inherently, they have right. a issue, right? So people are like, this is just too, there's too much, there's too many dots that being there's too many similarities with anti-Semitic tropes against Jewish people that yep. uh, also it didn't help that in the movie in Harry Potter, the bank has a star of David right in the middle oh, of yeah. the floor. That was like, oh, yeah. that was not, that was like, let me yeah. actually get the picture of that for people to know what I'm There's definitely about. a couple of things that I fully believe an individual trying their hardest to make sure they are not perpetuating anti-Semitic tropes would stay away from and this uh series chose not to uh so yeah i mean it's all again it it, folks it's always a really good idea when creating a new story or a, a movie series or a tv show or something to at least have one moment in the whole process before you put it out where you just go are we being racist like, are we being racist with this, you guys? Like, is is this part of the of the movie racist? Like, is this bad? Is this anti-Semitic? It's a good idea to to go but through it, that. Has it been on, was it been on purpose? Do you think it was on purpose? I, I I put it this way. I don't think. I think it is less likely that the intention was explicit. We want to perpetuate these tropes, right? And more likely that the motivation was we aren't particularly concerned if we spread these tropes accidentally, Mm. right? It's like, I, I don't think that they were, I don't think that they were intentionally trying to create the characters and, um, the backstory as being specifically focused on that right in a negative light but i would also argue they didn't really do that much to to you know stay away from it because as you're showing right there that like oh yeah they built so that they, they had to they that that's a that's a set that's it right well i mean so no, like, they they didn't build this the build this this was a building that had to start there to begin with okay right? but then oh, they chose that building right Oh wait, you're right. This is a yeah. Okay. Like so, but but look, but but I mean, even if this was there, they could have just covered it or something. I don't know. So right, exactly, and and that's what I'm saying is like, it, it especially I, when you're doing something like this, like it's not as if the budget for these movies was like shoestring or anything. They absolutely had the ability to to do stuff change. To, to change maybe and, they didn't and... notice oh uh, yeah so the guys look the, this is on the left the stereotype right. of how caricature of what jews prefer to show and like this is like goblins in harry potter and you can see like the whole the being bankers and having all that you know greedy money stuff like that's what they are 
I mean, that's what the stereotype, anti-Semitic stereotypes are. So it's just right. like there's too many things. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. It's yeah. just, I mean, if it's not on purpose, it's just so inconvenient. Like, it's just like right. so bad. It's and so I would, I would say like, I would say when we get to more of this stuff, I would say the legitimacy goes up in my opinion. When it comes mm -hmm. to the goblin horn has a piece of cheese and shofar and stuff, I'm I'm gonna go on the I'm gonna go on the side that yeah probably not so much legitimacy there, but when we come to these other things that we've just pointed out, again, I'm not saying ten out of ten definitely they were going for these anti-Semitic tropes, but it seems like they really didn't even do the bare minimum to like stay away from them, right? Like they right. they really didn't even try that hard. Like you know you know somebody had to have looked at those shots repeatedly for hours and hours and hours on end editing, right? So, and, and they did the shots multiple times. It's not like they just set the camera up and then everybody hits their lines perfectly. They do one 10 minute scene for three freaking days of shooting. So yeah, they, they definitely could have very easily done very small things that would have made a pretty big impact in my opinion so it's like you know so this is what we're seeing in the screen um is something in the game that people noticed as well right so you have this go uh goblin this horn right so goblin artifact this was part of the game horns like this and it says in the game horns like this were used by goblins during the 1612 goblin rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the hog's uh, head in with a wedge of gore. I don't know what that is. Stuff inside. Yeah. It's a type of cheese. Oh, oh, okay. So what they're saying is that this is very similar to the Jewish show, shofar. Is that how you say it? Yeah. And yeah, and so. my my thoughts on this just initially are this is a common thing that has been a battle cry and so forth. So it's not as if like the Jewish people are the only people that have, you know, ram's horns or anything that they use to to signal stuff. They have a very yeah. specific thing that is in their I know, but that's what the main people who are known for it, right? So you know yeah, right now. I, okay, and this I thing guess is, I mean, that's fair. Who does, that's fair. Who, who does that today other than Jewish people? My yeah. buddy George every Thursday at 6 p.m. <laughs> He's a great – just kidding. Obviously, I'm teasing, but – Yeah. I mean, yeah. if – if okay, so I don't want us to be conspiracy theorists here. This could all be just coincidences. I mean, mm -hmm. the Harry Potter world is a huge world. True. So things could happen that people didn't intend. So it's either intentional, which is weird if it's intentional. Like, why? Yes. Why would you do that? Why yes. would you destroy a franchise? Like, you are making a lot of money. Why would you want to yeah. ruin that, right? Yeah. Um, like, like think about the conspiracy. Like, it's, I know there's so many things here that you're like, okay, what's happening here? But at the same time, like, why? Like, uh, is J.K. Rowling is like, oh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. They will not, like, let me just put some mm -hmm. anti-Jewish... Oh, actually, this is the theory. This is the more reasonable theory. The reasonable theory is that they're not on purpose being anti-Semitic. It's just that anti-Semitic stereotype is so ingrained in our culture yeah. that it's just part of our, like, that we are using them mm -hmm. without knowing that these are anti-Jewish stereotypes. Yeah. That's I, the more, I think, yeah. I think that's probably the more reasonable fair-minded interpretation with that being said though again brave stance on both of us but we're still not for it like we're still in the boat of saying yeah we should make sure that we're not perpetuating these anti-semitic stereotypes and tropes and stuff but yeah i think that's probably more of the case that everybody knew that that was the star of david on the ground but nobody gave a crap enough to just go Hey guys, maybe this is a little racist what we're doing, right? Um, yeah. Still not good, still bad, still shouldn't be that way, but probably yeah. more reasonable than yeah. specifically Warner. The Brothers. best you could say is that they were not aware of what this could look like, which right. also is problematic. You know, right. the fact that you weren't aware of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Agreed. Um, you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free.
Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.